So this is an approach into Tansenat and a few things went wrong and it's very very interesting. Um, it gives uh, it, it's a good example of why it is so important to do proper descent and approach management because it's a matter of uh, safety not only fuel savings. The issue is is that when new cadets start to fly the aircraft they need to be able to safely safely land the aircraft without assistance. So the first couple of days they fly with safety pilots until they can land the aircraft uh, unassistedly and after that uh, they fly without a safety pilot. But it's not only about landing the aircraft, it's also about putting the aircraft uh, on the approach so that uh, it is possible to land it in the first place. Uh, this approach, uh, um, a few things went wrong and we'll have a look at exactly why that was. So at the moment we are descending uh, through uh, 7500 feet and we have the speed brake uh, selected. Why is that? Because we are uh, high on uh, profile. Let's do the calculation. So uh, let's take 25 miles. So first we take 20 miles. So 20 times 3 is 6000 feet. So there's 25 miles exactly. So I'll pause the video. So 20 times 3 is 6000 feet. We are doing green dot speed. So we should be at 5000 feet plus 1500 feet for the 5 miles. Makes 6500 feet. So we are about 1000 feet too high. We also have a very big tailwind and the weight is, it's a bit hard to see, it's about 62.6 I think. So that's kind of normal, but there's definitely a lot of tailwind. So we are absolutely high on energy and the speed brake selected. However, the speed brake was just uh, stowed and this is not correct. If you are 1000 feet high on energy at 25 miles, you are definitely high on profile. And especially with a tailwind like this, you will need the speed brake. Do not stow it. Okay, so that's the first mistake. Let's continue. So next altitude calculation will be at um, 20 miles. Uh, we could just skip the calculation because we know we're going to be high, but just for uh, uh, for practice. So 20 miles times 3, 6,000 feet minus... Okay, so now we are at S speed, so we can be 500 feet lower. So we should be at 5,500 feet. And we are at... Let me see, I'm going to skip ahead a bit until exactly we're at 20 miles right there. So we are still high on energy, especially with the steel wind. So we need the speed brake. Okay, now the speed brake is selected again. So anytime I see this, when the speed brake is selected and installed and then selected again, that to me is an indication that the first officer uh, is uh, struggling a bit with uh, the concept of uh, approach, descent and approach management. Okay, which is fine. Uh, everything um, takes time to learn. Okay, so... Uh, let's see what the situation is now. We are passing, approaching 5,000 feet and the speed at uh, S speed, a very big tailwind, uh, weight is normal. And uh, looking at the glide slope, it looks like we're almost on the glide slope. Is the glide slope valid? Yes, it is because we're almost on the localizer. And we're at 17 now, so the glide slope should be valid. Okay, so this is already an indication uh, that you are, not already, there's uh, an additional indication that you are high on energy. Okay, lock is armed and let's see what's happening next. So uh, now we're approaching 4,500 feet. Uh, I'm sorry, we're approaching 15 miles, which is 4,500 feet. And this will be the glide slope signal. So we need to be below that with this speed. But you can see you're almost on the glide slope already. In fact, we are on the glide slope. There it goes, glide slope star, lock star. So now you are on the glide slope with, uh, with S speed. This is the minimum situation you should be in, or the minimum speed at S speed, but preferably a bit lower. So you should be at the glide, on the glide, intercepting the glide slope with flap two, uh, especially with tailwind like this. And also when you're heavy, the, this, the difference between VFE next and S speed will be small and you don't really want to be on the glide slope in, that, uh, in a situation like this because if the speed does run away, you have a little margin left to select flap 2. So we still need a speed brake, which is not selected here. So we can expect some trouble later. Okay, now... The question is, when do we start? When do we select flap two? Well, I would do it uh, since we're already in glide slope. I would do it now, but we can't do that because the speed is too high. Okay, so we need speed brake. Okay, speed brake is selected. That's good. Now let's keep it this time and not get rid of it. And let's see what happens. So if I skip ahead a little bit more, 
So, so you see, even with the, oh now the speed break is stowed again. So there you go. So speed break was selected here and then here it's stowed again. So that's not correct. That doesn't make sense. Okay, um, so we cannot select uh, flap two here because we are too fast. And this situation will also not solve itself. It will just remain too fast, especially with the tailwind. There's a very, very high ground speed here, you can see, of 240 knots. And the speed is just running away. With flap one on the approach, high tailwind, it cannot maintain the speed. So next we are looking uh, the last moment where we should lower the gear. If you are passing, if, if you are on the glide slope or worse above and you're passing 3000 feet and you cannot select flap two because you are too fast, you are above VFV next, you, you need to lower the gear because if you don't, you will be high on energy. Okay, here the speed brake is selected again, but that's way too late. It should have been selected all the time before already. So this is the moment you can see the speed is very high. We're basically at green dot speed on the glide slope at 3000 feet. That's not good. And uh, we need to uh, lower the gear right now. So here I prompted the first officer to lower the gear. Uh, it's a bit hard to see when it's dark, but um, and let me see, almost gear down here. Waiting for the gear. Okay. So now something else goes wrong. So uh, the first officer to my horror, pressed V as zero. Now, why did he do that? When I ask, oh, but I want to reduce the speed. Well, yes, you reduce the speed with pressing V as zero, but in this case, you will end up above the glide slope. Not only that, but it will disarm the glide slope also. See, so V as zero, and there's no GS blue here. So that will increase the workload significantly, and even, uh, and then yes, the speed, of course, will reduce, but, um, uh, so will uh, the glide slope go down also, and so that's not the way to solve it. The, so, the, the, the situation like this, where you are too fast on the approach, you need to lower the gear. That, this is the only way to solve that. Uh, okay, so at the same time the speed brake was selected, and now the show will start. The workload will go through the roof very, very quickly, which I will show now. So the first officer presses V is zero, and I'm thinking, oh my god, uh, about to take over. And we give him a little bit of a chance to fix it. And what happens next? Okay, now the he sets a lower altitude, which is also incorrect. And now he says, selects a higher altitude, which is correct for glides up from above. But, and this is a, so, a somewhat common mistake, and instead of selecting vertical speed down, he selects, he wants to select open descent. But because you selected the higher altitude for glide slope capture from above, it actually goes to open climb. I think everybody has done it in their career at least once. I have certainly done that before. And the way to solve that is to uh, immediately press VS0 again to uh, lower the nose and then uh, increase the vertical speed to, so you go uh, down quicker. Um, some people, they immediately disconnect the autopilot, which I would not recommend because that will also increase the workload. And a situation like this, like an error like this, is uh, you, you can fix it quite well uh, using the FCU. Just press, press VS0 to get rid of overclimb and then uh, reduce the vertical speed. Uh, to uh, to start descending. Okay, now I, I give him a, a slight a chance to fix it, and when I see this, and then uh, I, I take control straight away, um, because uh, I'm thinking there's absolutely no way he's gonna fix that. So and and I also need some time to uh, recover from this. So okay, so uh, what we'll do? Um, the vertical speed down. So that's what I meant. And um, but there's a few things happening here because the speed brake was selected before and I take control, I, I wasn't, uh, well, I just can't remember if I was aware of that, but anyway, a lot of things happening at the same time. So the speed brake is um, still out. The speed is reducing now a lot because we were climbing initially, uh, even though vertical speed is set down, which is a little bit too much now, but I'll, I'll fix it later. Uh, the, the, the aircraft is actually still climbing, which causes the speed to reduce quite fast and the power to go up right there, you see. So and, and a lot of power suddenly is applied. And because the speed brake is selected, then the aircraft will start to complain about the uh, speed brake here. Okay, so now the correct vertical speed is set. So this is glide slope capture from above. But we have still... Um, uh, we are still at S speed, and if I go down a little bit uh, backwards here, so this is the moment where the gear was lowered. Uh, so I took control already, gear down, 
Okay, so that will help. So we got the gear down, of course, the aircraft adds a lot of power because it was still a little bit climbing from the previous uh, event. Anyway, so down we go, 2,000 feet a minute down, and uh, speed brake uh, will be stowed soon. And uh, okay, so now because we have a high vertical speed, so there's the speed brake, it's stowed. Oh no, speed brake again here. Yeah, and now we can apply the speed brake because uh, the truss is at idle now. So because of the high vertical speed, the speed starts to uh, run away a little bit. Uh, and one thing I didn't notice is because the first officer pressed V as zero and I took control and I continued the descent, the glide slope was not armed anymore. So I'm thinking, okay, we'll do glide slope from above, down we go, looking good, we got the gear down, we got some speed breaker to help us, and uh, there's flap three selected to get a bit more more drag. So far, so good. And I'm looking at this uh, glide slope here, and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, it will go into glide slope star, I, have, I hope. Um, no, not I hope, <laughs> I think. And I'm not sure at one point I realized, I'm thinking, oh my god, it's not even arm the glide slope, this is not gonna work. So I quickly armed the, on the, appro the, the approach mode, uh, the approach button on the FCU uh, to arm glide slope. But meanwhile, because of the high vertical speed and the, the speed started to run away a bit, even though the gear is down, you can see here, we get a warning of a high vertical speed. It's not outside of limits um, because it's uh, 2000 feet down to 1000 feet. Uh, past 1000 feet, you have maximum 1000 feet a minute. So, so, far, so far, so good. But this is also not the situation you want to be in. And this is the moment where I press V as zero to uh, prevent overspeeding the flaps. You see, this is just way too close and it's still increasing. So there's glide slope star. And now I press V as zero, but for a different reason. Like before there was no need to do that because there was still a big margin with V, v with uh, V max. And there was really no need to press V as zero on the approach we should have uh, lowered the gear and set but in this case when it goes into um, a glide slope star and the speed it's almost about to um, uh, overspeed the flaps then i went into uh, via zero but now i've learned from the previous event which happened a few seconds earlier now this time it's not going to catch me so i'm just going to quickly get the speed off here um, and you see it's slightly below the glide slope here <coughs> and quickly arm the approach mode on the FCU again. So now get, again, it goes into glide slope star and uh, we only have one stage of flaps to go. So there we go, flap full and the speed is still quite high, but uh, the tailwind has, especially the component has reduced significantly. So that will help. There's GS again. We want to be stable at a thousand feet. Um, let me see. Yeah, okay. Um, it should be 500 feet really so we can continue to 500 feet uh, for the speed only and there we go uh, speed is um, on target uh, 500 feet we have flap full gear down fully configured landing circle is complete so we made it in so again this is a good example of uh, why it is so important to really um, get comfortable with all the modes and how to manage the descent because if you um, press the wrong button you need to be able to really quickly fix it and also for the training captain it will increase the workload significantly uh, if uh, things go wrong so uh, i hope you learned something and thank you for watching if you like this video please consider buying my book practical descent energy management it contains loads of examples of how to manage a descent and approach, and it is the only book available on this subject. There is a paperback and an ebook version available. You can find a link in the description below.